dream or passion is to eventually be able to make enough money to like freelance and like be able to pay all your bills from like whatever it is that you're doing let that be photography video I mean basically anything making a living from your passion is what we all strive to do but unfortunately sometimes that can be pretty hard I don't know why I'm doing these transitions, but I'm doing them. Basically that financial insecurity of like not knowing if you're gonna be able to pay your bills by freelancing is a big deterrent for a lot of people. I know it was a really big issue for me when I barely started doing this or, or trying to pursue photography as a career was that I was making great money at the certain job I was at and I didn't know if I was gonna make enough money to kind of like go after my dreams. So what I decided to do after that is that I wrote down my monthly costs and I found out where I could kind of like cut back on expenses and see how much I needed per month to survive like and, and not go broke and have my wife leave me. After seeing all the numbers, I realized that I didn't need that much money to be able to make the jump. And I was really just overthinking things because I was used to making a certain amount of money and not making that same amount would mean like, oh crap, like I'm not the same. So after seeing the amount of money that I needed for the month, I decided to quit my full-time job and just start working part-time. With the part-time money I was making and also being able to get a gig or two here and there, I was able to meet my monthly costs and you know not really worry about expenses too much. I think that we as photographers, we kind of were so focused on just, you know, making money off gigs, making freelancing, freelancing, that we kind of like forget about the other options that there is for us to also make money. So if you're looking to kind of really pursue photography or videography full time, looking into a part time is actually a really good thing to do. This is why you have a part time. So after making the decision of actually working a part-time job, I didn't want to just go work at like a Starbucks or something, which actually somewhere that I did apply to go work for. So the thing was to, I didn't want to get another job that just required me to hate my job. I hated my full-time and then I was doing a part-time to chase my creative endeavors, but I didn't also want to hate that part-time job because it's just, it's still a shitty situation. There's no one at the office right now, so it's all my to fill. So what I decided to do is I started looking for jobs that would not be necessarily a dead end job, that be being a photo editor, video editor, photographer, videographer, anything that revolved around my art and my craft, that's something that I wanted to work in. So if you're looking around, I was able to find one job as a video editor, editing videos for a YouTube channel, and I mean, that way I was able to get a good amount of hours, get enough money to pay my bills, and still be working on what I like to do. Having a part time that allows you to work in what you wanna do, let it be photo or video, is definitely gonna make it easier on yourself than working at like Chick-fil-A or Starbucks. I mean, honestly, right now, like I kinda love my job that I have. I like it so much that I'm like busting a parasite and trying to get as many people that I know into working with this company as well, like my buddy Nate. This is a little behind the scenes of a video he had to make in order to get this job. Mix. That's breakfast. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Like deck the shit out of the spot. Just make it look like we're like out here, black and hard. iPad. Even the iPad. With the, with the Oranges. Oh, makes no sense. <laughs> See, like, what would you do to get a job? Legit, you know? Full on production. We even bought a red. It hasn't come in yet. Oh, yeah, dude. I have a red camera. It's just a guy, and he put like red duct tape all around his camera. <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Considering if you're on the floor, you're pretty good f omelet. Recommend. Daniel Schiffer could never. So yeah guys, get out there. Quit your full-time jobs. I said so. I mean, if you're able to pay off <laughs> your monthly cost with a part-time, do that instead. Like, it's so much easier. You get more time to shoot for yourself. It's just a win-win situation, you know? One of the biggest benefits that I feel that I've had because of my part-time job is that I have a lot of my week back. So I'm able to really schedule all of my bookings that I get for couples, weddings, and stuff like that for the weekend. Because of the part-time, like, I'm able to pay off a lot of my monthly stuff. So I have the time to dedicate to the business and also financial liberty of not worrying that I'm not making money from creative projects. So the amount of time that I've gained back with my part-time job, I mean, you know, it's it's just it's just amazing. Before I was working anywhere between 40 to 60 hours, now that's been cut in half, so I have like 20 to 30 hours back in my life that I didn't have before. Hold your breath for 20 to 30 hours, that's a long ass time. If you're trying to pursue this as a full-time thing, either photography or videography, please consider getting a part-time job. Preferably in a creative field, not in McDonald's, but if you, even if you have to do McDonald's, 
adults, like you'll still get a lot of that time so back. So that's it for me. I gotta get home before I get trapped in traffic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up if you did. Also guys, comment down below what the perfect part-time job you think you would like to have in order to have time to still create and keep paying your bills. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you guys subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Just do it. Don't, don't hopefully just do it. Uh, you don't have to do it. Yeah, you do. All right, guys, that's it for me. Have a good one and enjoy the rest of your days. I don't know how to end videos still, so peace out.